Okay, this this video is um, inspired by a friend of mine. Her name is uh, Eureka. Um, well, she asked me, um, what's going to happen to my average cost and marginal cost curves when there is a change in variable cost? And I said, easy, they just shift up. And she went like, where? And like, top left. And, and she asked, how do you know? And I was like, holy shit, I don't know. So, um, yeah, we'll find out today. Okay, so... Let's try and recall that okay we derive the curves okay for average cost and marginal cost from our total cost curve. Okay, so in the short run this is what our curves look like, right? For total cost. Okay, and to derive our total cost what we do is um, we would draw a ray okay from the origin okay to the lowest point of the total cost curve and we mark that spot over there, we bring it down okay, and we'll call this x0 okay, at this point, okay, that's where okay, a ray, the gradient of a ray from the origin to the curve is the lowest okay, and this will give us the lowest marginal cost alright, uh, sorry, lo lowest average cost, alright ray from origin okay, gives us the average cost alright, a tangent Okay, to cost curve to the to short run total cost, it give us our marginal cost. Okay, if you can't see this, just let's just take this line for example. If you find out the gradient, okay, it's basically a total price divided by a total quantity, so that gives us our average cost. And your your tangents are just telling us the change in the gradient, so it's it's telling us how much marginal cost is changing. So now we know that this point is the lowest. We can mark a point over here. And we know that that's our average cost minimum point. Okay, average cost. So now we talk about marginal cost. If you realized, okay, this line is also a tangent to the short run total cost, which means that it's the same as 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 uh, marginal cost. So this is the point where marginal cost equals to average cost. So that means my my marginal cost is going to cross this point over here. Okay, and how do I know? Okay, that my marginal cost is lower than my average cost at this region now let's just take this point for example and I draw a tangent over here you can see how flat this is right so if you were to measure the gradient of this line over here it will be, be smaller than compared to this that's why marginal cost is lower at this point and at this point okay let's take this for example okay I know that this tangent over here is deeper than this line which means that my marginal cost is higher. Okay, so um, I hope you know the basics of this. So now I'm going to move on to the main concern over here. So now assuming that there's been a change in um, variable cost, okay, maybe there's now right, uh, a tax, okay, a per unit tax okay, on production, on output, right? So this is going to cause my variable cost to increase. Now, um, we know okay, okay, that what we usually draw is like this, marginal cost, average cost. What we do is we just shift the point up here and okay, we have a new point. Okay, but how do we know this? Okay, we have to go back to how we derive okay, the uh, the, the average cost and the marginal cost. So okay, I'll try to make this very neat. Okay, um, just let me use a ruler right here. Okay. So this is my total cost. Hope you can see. Right. This is my average cost and my marginal cost. Okay, so. Let's start with one cost curve first. Okay, short run total cost. Okay, so we derive the total cost, the average cost, and the marginal cost first. Okay, so we know that this is the lowest point. The average cost. marginal cost. Alright, so now 
what will happen to the total cost curve if there is an increase in variable cost? What's going to happen is we're still going to start at the same point here. Why? Because this represents our fixed cost and fixed cost hasn't changed. So we're going to start from where we originally started from, right? So it's just going to go steeper. It makes sense, right? Because with every more output that I have, okay, I'm going to be paying much more. Okay, another thing that I forgot for, for, forgot to do is um, every time we draw our cost curves, okay, make sure we have this bracket over here and we put there W not and R not, okay. Well, I mean that's because you know we want Amos Wisdom to think that we've read his subject guide, okay. So that's why we have to come up with these notations over here. Now, okay, so this is the new short run total cost. So let's start deriving our points now. Okay, so naturally, okay, geometrically, okay, the point would be more towards the right side. Okay, and if you want to compare, okay, to see whether you're right, just draw a line up XO, and you can see that this over here, if you draw a tangent, is going to be steeper than this. So you know, okay, that your new average cost curve is going to be higher than the original one. So now we got one point over here. Okay, we know that this point, you compare it to this point, this is steeper. Okay, so I'm gonna mark out my new point over here, and that's it. You just draw as per normal. Okay, marginal cost. Okay, average cost. So in the exam, okay, whenever you encounter, okay, maybe a per unit tax or a per unit subsidy. Okay, and if you want to score marks and show that you really understand what's going on, I suggest that you come up with this kind of graphs, okay, just on the sideline as a note, okay, so that um, he, un he understands that you understand, okay, the examiner. Okay, um, thank you for watching, and uh, once again, um, this, this video has been inspired by Eureka, one of my friends in uh, school, okay, a very bright person, so thank you for watching.